I have an excess amount of 9 volt batteries. I worked at a job where you couldn't risk the batteries dying, so you would just use them once, put them in a box, and take them to storage or throw them away. So instead of taking all these seemingly unusable 80% full batteries to the dumpster, I just took them home. See, not quite fully charged, but still usable. Having a bunch of mostly good 9 volt batteries is great, but I don't have any devices that really run on 9 volts anymore. Everything I have either runs on AA or AAA, except for the pin on my Surface, which actually runs on the quadruple A. Yeah, quadruple A, you know the one. For anybody that doesn't know already, inside of a 9 volt battery, there's actually six equivalent 1.5 volt cells that are similar to the quadruple A's. See, here's a little pack and they're roughly the same size as this. See, about one and a half volts. Same thing as the AA, the AAA, and a little quadruple A. Obviously this one's not fully charged. What I'm hoping to do is make some sort of adapter. I know that they sell adapters to get from AAA to AA. It's just a little housing that goes around the battery to make it bigger and be able to touch the contacts on either side. You could just use a piece of foil whenever you shove it in a remote like this. Imagine this remote. It takes triple A's. If I'm trying to make a quadruple A fit, it barely fits. But if you use like a piece of foil or something in there, it can make it stay. All right, back to it. I want to make an adapter that goes from quadruple A to triple A and then quadruple A to double A. In the process of thinking up this and how I was going to model everything, I was thinking, is this cost effective? Could this be cheaper than buying quadruple A's? I did a little bit of math when I was at work. This part's going to be really boring, so just stick with me. I figured out, you can pause and look at this, the price of quadruple A's, triple A's, double A's, and nine volts, all this. I figured out that the price of buying a quadruple A is pretty high. Like when it comes to buying this, you only get a thousand and six milliwatt hours per dollar versus if you bust open a nine volt that's conservatively priced at $1.30 a piece, you can get 3,750 milliwatt hours per dollar. I checked the data sheets and in a regular alkali nine volt battery, there's six LR61 alkaline batteries, these little deals, which on the Wikipedia says they're interchangeable quadruple A's. And I use them personally in my pins and calculators and I'm too cheap. However, if you compare the dollar per milliwatt hour to the AAA or AA, they just get destroyed. So if you need a quadruple A, yeah, I'd say at the risk of, you know, getting acid all over anything you're doing, bust open a nine volt. But if you need anything else, you might as well just buy the good stuff. However, for myself, this isn't an issue because I have a lot of these things. So the cost per whatever milliwatt hour is zero. All right, now I'm just gonna take the measurements of this, jump into CAD and see what I can make. All right, so what you can hope <clears throat> damn, what you can hopefully see now is I've got the spring clip, the bump clip, the double AA, A, triple A, and quadruple A all modeled. Their models are based on the most extreme dimensions. So the very top bump part of the this little part of the battery, all the way to down here. Now what I need to do is cut out pieces of the two larger batteries and try to fit the smaller one into it, and hopefully squeeze in the two clips. Pink is the quadruple A battery. These are the little clips. Next is just to print the yellow part and see if it works. Okay, so while the printer is, oh, dang it, authenticate, dang it. All right, so while that's warming up, I can talk a little bit about what I think is gonna go wrong with the model. I think some of this might be too thin because the printer that I have, I got it for $200. It's a $3,000 at one point MakerBot, but it's several years old, therefore it's a dinosaur. But beggars can't be choosers. I got it at the end of college when I needed it and didn't have any money. So it's, it's been all right. I'm gonna be super gluing these metal little tabs on. It'll give it a little bit more rigidity. I guess I can go through the settings that I'm gonna use on this. So I don't know if I should go all out or do it like this or stand it up maybe. Cause there's these edges which are critical. So I don't wanna mess those up. I don't know, I'll, I'll try printing it like this. It takes 20 minutes. If it's too bad, I'll just print it again.
All right, so I got it printed out and they fit right in. Uh, I just need to find something that takes double A. Okay, I might've run into an issue. It's a little bit too long. Like I can get it to fit, but it's, it's too much. So I might need to make this shorter. Hmm. Oh yeah, and here's just to show that the little battery does fit in there. So I have a little bit of wiggle room. I could make this a little shorter just so it'll fit. I'll probably do that. It only takes 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I tried a couple times off camera. I got these two to work, just, it just was a very tight fit and I had to kind of smash the top part of it to get it to squeeze in, but it fit pretty nice and I mean, it works well. This is the newest version that I just pulled off of the bed. There we go, got this a little bit shorter and I went ahead and took off those little ridges that I had on the side just because the clip was sitting in just fine with the super glue. It kind of melted and made a good spot in there. And I'll show you real quick how I put it together. Ow. And for these little LR61 batteries, the flat side is actually positive and the side with the little nipple on it is negative. It's the opposite of the commercial battery. I made a little slit in there, if you can see through. So when you put it in there, you can just push it through. And then I just bend this little tab over. And bada boom bada bing. Now the connection between these two, it can work just fine without any solder, but I like to put just a little bit just in case. Cool, so before my camera dies, let's see with any luck. Ta-da! This is going to be a little hard to film, but just to prove that it works, I got the batteries in here, my little Logitech wireless keyboard. Can the mouse move? Oh, it can. Let's see. No pen. It works. I'm really bad at keeping these videos on track. I had to take some time off. I had an anniversary with my lady and we went hiking and stayed in an Airbnb, drank hot chocolate, looked at stars. It was beautiful. You're so small. The reason the camera's a little bit further back is because I'm trying to do the no shave November thing for real and it does not look good. Since the last portion of this video, I made the adapter to get from quadruple A to triple A. It couldn't be like the first one just because there's not as much space as there is for the double A. I ended up just making kind of like a little cap, but I put it in my TV remote and it works great. I took a poll recently while I was working on this video to see exactly what you wanted to see next and the majority of people said mechanical project and I do have something in the works. And then a little over 20% said a day in the life video so if you want to see the life of a mechanical design engineer, my day job, just let me know about that if you want to see it. Or just look up a video of paint drying. Or heck, if you want to see my attempt at a vlog, I took a bunch of vacation video, maybe I could upload something around that. Look, look, I got the line, I got the line. Just like in Bugs Life, I can't see the line! <laughs> I also made a post about possibly sending a few of these out, so if you want one, just be subscribed and leave a comment below. On a side tangent, I always hear that, you know, make sure you subscribe and to comment. And I wondered, like, can you actually tell if people are subscribed and leaving comments? Like, maybe is that just like trying to get them to subscribe? And the answer is yeah. No, in your YouTube studio, you can actually sort your comments by who's subscribed to you. So I'll know if you're not subscribed, don't even comment. But if you want to subscribe and possibly get one of these little 3D printed battery things, you know, go ahead or if you have a 3d printer and want to order some of the clips and things that I got or just use some aluminum foil with it maybe uh, I'll leave stuff in the description below all right I guess that wraps it up uh, thank you for watching I hope you got something out of this and like I said leave a comment like subscribe do do all that makes me happy and yeah that's it makes me happy thank you <laughs> see y'all